As we continue our kitchen remodel, today I'm going to show you how we installed our floating wood shelves. everybody and welcome to the Weekend Honeydew List. So today we are continuing with our kitchen remodel. We are installing floating shelves and uh, as you can see we have a galley style kitchen. We just got uh, cabinets put in and we decided to put a pretty feature on the end instead of another cabinet. So we're putting in uh, our floating shelves. Floating shelves that we bought are from Reclaimed Wood and the design is just so well done. Uh, they're sturdy and they're just beautiful. If you're interested I'll have a link below. So the first thing I wanted to do was install them on our drywall because we're going to get tile put in for the backsplash. So I went ahead and found the studs that are there. I uh, made pilot holes in one of the studs and then I added two anchors for each side of each shelf. There are different types of anchors you can use but the ones that I really like are called uh, Easy Anchor. Uh, and it just screws right into the drywall. It's really easy to use and it holds up a lot of weight. I mean there's different sizes you can do but I picked 75 pounds. So once we get those installed, uh, our contractor went ahead and started putting in our tile. And what I did is left screws in the wall so that way he wouldn't tile over those spots where I needed for my shelves. So as you can closely see, uh, he nicely cut little squares uh, for each tile that fit over. And that way uh, we have access to install our floating shelves. After some research, we decided to choose Joel's Antiques Reclaim wood floating shelves. I'll have a link below. The shelf comes with a supporting bracket that is flush mount so you don't see it. Uh, you'll have to create three pilot holes. Take the measurement of that piece of metal and find the center so that way that you can attach it to the main stud. And then the other two holes equally spaced apart would be for the anchors that you attach. You can see the bracket right there has two holes. Uh, those weren't there initially. Those were made after I had drilled into those two pre-made holes up top and they just attached right to the metal. So the one that you get won't have that. Don't worry about making pilot holes. You're just going to drill right in through that sheet of metal. Now that sheet of metal will slide into this little pocket that was created for it. Uh, once you get it placed in there, it'll center itself through because it's just cut right. So that way it'll fit in there perfectly. Now, because I've already installed it once, it's got a little bit of bend, but I'm going to fix that when we get it up on the wall. The shelf does come with five screws, uh, two for the top and three to support the shelf uh, from the bracket. Uh, what I did was I got one screw that was a little longer because uh, we added tile and I wanted to make sure that it really held on to that stud in the center. Uh, so as you can see, the two on the top are flush mount and I've got two for anchors and one in the center for the stud. So my next step is to install the bracket. Uh, if this is the first time you're installing this onto a drywall, just remember you want to create a pilot hole on your stud and that's the initial uh, screw that you're going to put in uh, for this bracket. Once you've done that, you're going to mark up the two holes on the sides for your anchors. So make sure you have a level because you want to make sure your sh shelf is nice and straight. And once you've leveled that off, grab a pencil and mark those two anchor points. But because we've already done this, I've already measured and leveled it off and created those pilot holes and added the anchors because of the tile, it's already level. But if it's the first time you're doing it, please be sure you do that. Uh, I'm just straighten out the metal uh, piece that came because it got a little bent when I initially installed it and removed it. But uh, once that's done, there's a pocket in the back as we described before and uh, it'll slide right into the back. Uh, so it's the design is really well done. Uh, once you get it in there, you just want to tap it all the way back. And because of the way the groove is set up, it'll just kind of line up and fall into place. Once you've done that, add a little bit of pressure when you're screwing in the top. Remember that top, that metal bracket shouldn't have any holes. You don't have to create pilot holes. These screws will drill right through the metal and makes it nice and secure. So put a little pressure on that shelf to make sure it's flush in the back before you start screwing it in. We figured out the height for the second shelf with pictures and plants and things that might fit, but uh, we're really happy with the final result. I think the shelves are really well made uh, because of reclaimed wood, it just has a beautiful look and feel to them. And I think it adds a lot to your enjoyment of the kitchen. 
Thanks for watching the Weekend Honeydew List. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you like what we do, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we'll try to get back to you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.